Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's uh, Joe here from Zilla Cabs. In this video today, we're taking a look at this uh, cab, which is a small vintage from our standard line of cabs. But this one's got a two x 10 baffle in it. So we've got two 10 inch speakers in here. And it's something that we don't uh, see a lot of through um, the workshop here. These are the um, warehouse guitar speakers. Right, so I've had a look in the back and these are called the G10C slash S. Um, I think these are, are marketed at being an American sounding 10 inch speaker that aims to tame some of the high end in uh, brighter amps. So I, I, haven't, I haven't played these speakers before. Um, so I thought I'd try them out in the studio here uh, and bring you along for it. So I'm gonna do what I usually do, just play through a bunch of different styles um, and, and yeah, and hear how they sound. Um, so the gear I'm playing through today, I'm using my Pori Smith Mira, Myra Mira, not sure how you're meant to say that. Um, that's going into a Mesa Boogie Stiletto uh, 100 watt, which is uh, like like I said before, it's like a, a Marshall kind of style, really. Um, also using the uh, Fender Eric Johnson Strat, and then uh, just a bunch of pedals on the floor as well um, for some different sounds. So yeah, let's take a listen to how it sounds.
All right, so I've stayed a bit more on the sort of um, mid-gain territory there uh, and clean stuff. As I, I don't think these speakers are typically going to be uh, what you want to what you want to go towards for maybe a um, down-tuned uh, high-gain sort of stuff. But uh, for this for this sort of mid-gain um, rock and blues kind of tones, I think they do this thing really well. Um, I'm, I'm really really uh, really surprised by these speakers. Um, I've played uh, a couple of different uh, warehouse guitar speakers in the past, and to be honest with you, they haven't always quite uh, struck a chord with me. I think I've tried the Veteran 30, um, but these speakers, I'm, I'm really liking this. I should speak about the cabinet as well. This is um, a small vintage, and this is this is um, one of the older designs, I think, of, from from the from the Zilla catalog. It's quite a shallow cab, and we've also got an oval back on on the on the cab as well. Which, uh, I'll show you some shots of that now. All that would usually add up to giving a cab with a little bit less low end, a um, bit more of an open airy sound, um, maybe a bit more going towards a Fender combo kind of kind of sound, which yeah might typically detract a bit from the low end capabilities but I'm, I'm really surprised sitting in front of the uh, cab here how much bottom end is, is being pushed out especially with these uh, two tens in there as well so I, yeah I'm, I'm really into these speakers um, let me know in the comments below if, you, if you've ever played any um, warehouse guitar speakers I know I know people who are into them are really into them and um, as I say before trying the, the veteran 30 I, I wasn't totally sold on that but maybe there is there is more for me to uh, discover in their line of speakers. So l let me know what your thoughts are and experiences with warehouse guitar speakers in the comments section. And um, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications for when we bring out new videos. And um, yeah, we'll catch you in another video very soon. I'll I'll, I'll play us out a bit more with the with the poison. <laughs>